How's it going, everybody? Welcome to a brand new episode of Crypto Cloud. I'm your host, Phase Crypto, and today we are going to be talking about Electronium. I think this is a perfect time to talk about Electronium, uh, especially in the context of all the stuff that we've been seeing happening in the cryptocurrency universe. So first of all, if you're an Electronium fan and you're watching this video, uh, I just want to say hats off to you. I mean, congratulations for coming this far, and I'm glad that we have this uh, awesome community. Uh, personally, I'm still a believer in Electronium. Now, I know that there's been a lot of uh, controversy and a lot of, uh, you know, fair share of criticism towards Electronium, much like you'd see with uh, any cryptocurrency. But at the same time, I think that this will be an awesome opportunity for us to address uh, the Electronium community and basically where we can see the functionality of uh, you know this the what I still believe electronium can be the new era of uh, you know digital payments as we see a lot of these different things getting fleshed out uh, to a certain extent I mean this obviously does have a huge overlap with what we've been seeing with essentially the point that's been made uh, multiple times by a lot of uh, you know other youtubers who've talked about this uh, issue who have essentially talked about the fact that uh, you know cryptocurrency is almost be you know ahead of its time um, at this current moment so a lot of uh, the innovations that we see that work within the cryptocurrency sphere uh, now like electronium and what they can bring to the table uh, now to a certain extent um, I think the groundwork is already there and laid out and electroniums really uh, strapped in and ready to blast off when um, I mean because we saw before I mean with the market cap of course uh, being at 172 uh, now of course Bitcoin dominance at 51.9 uh, now in Bitcoin's price at the time making this video is 5082 um, I mean it was pretty interesting Interesting to see how Electronium was able to come into its own uh, in that recent price movement that we saw, which we have been able to maintain the uh, Bitcoin prices at 5,000, which um, is an interesting sign. Um, of course, at the time making this video, the top performer is uh, Nebulous, uh, True Chain, uh, Augur, Walton Chain, Nano, and of course we've got uh, Electronium coming in on the the list at least. Uh, in the green, uh, you know, which is always interesting. Um, now, at the time making this video to see where uh, the crypto in question is basically ranking, but I still remain a believer in Electronium, and I think that the potential is there. Uh, I think that anybody who's uh, been doubting Electronium. Uh, now, obviously, you're entitled to your own opinion and all that type of stuff. But I think that you know, if you have uh, you know any c concerns about, it, you should definitely let me know in the comment section because I've yet to see somebody who's made a really valid case, uh, you know, against Electronium that couldn't be uh, applied to a large amount of cryptos already out there that people pretty much give uh, a lot more praise to. I think Electronium, in a certain extent, has a pretty humble community in comparison to the more vocal uh, aspects aspects of a lot of the competing cryptos that really don't have as much to offer. So, um, you know, in this video, we're going to be discussing uh, Electronium and, you know, the future of what we can expect this uh, technology to actually be, uh, you know, really making a difference and shaking up uh, what people expect to see from uh, mobile mining and, you know, essentially how mobile will be playing a big role in cryptocurrency in the future. So I think this will be a pretty good video, a good opportunity to do is discuss a lot of these things um, that have been, you know, on everybody's mind. I have been reading the comments and seeing how a lot of people have been perceiving um, these things. I think this will be an awesome video to pretty much address the community in that regard. So it's really no secret that Electronium has its fair share of haters, the same way pretty much any cryptocurrency is going to have to deal with that. Uh, but of course, uh, you now right now we have to talk about uh, you know, along the lines of uh, you know the future of Electronium, I just wanted to read uh, you know, these uh, future price predictions. Uh, ETN is under development and it is currently focusing on uh, you know, to make advancements like attaining KYC compliance uh, along with making some effective partnerships. Uh, ETN has the aim of mass adoption, but unfortunately it has not come in a big green screen, you know, and thus, uh, you know, of course, uh, the the, uh, the majority of people are unaware of uh, you know its uh, existence. Its uh, performance are not that you know appealing uh, yet. Uh, you know, and if it can create a bigger impact in the crypto community, then uh, only its value can rise. Uh, considering all these facts, ETN is uh, expected to trade around 
uh, 0.035 by the end of 2019. Uh, so, I mean, this is a interesting article just because of the way that they word it. Uh, you know, the fact that, I mean, of course, attaining KYC compliance is a pretty interesting news. I mean, something, but it, you know, anybody who pays attention to uh, Electronium is obviously aware. Uh, but I mean, it's uh, definitely right along the lines. The fact that they've brought up uh, mass adoption uh, you now in that paragraph is pretty interesting uh, because I think that, you know, really uh, Electronium is a mass adoption sort of cryptocurrency, uh, you know, right along the lines of having uh, you know, basically uh, overlap between uh, as we sort of see that uh, global community st start to be built. Uh, on the foundations of pretty much what Electronium, you know, is all about, uh, they're a really important infrastructure in that same sentiment. But I mean, by that same, uh, you know, value of, uh, you know, that same, you know, conversation, I think uh, Electronium does have a lot going for it. Uh, you know, as far as where we can expect it to go, I mean, the overall cryptocurrency space, uh, it, things are generally unpredictable at this point. So, uh, I mean, I think that at, at this point, I mean, Electronium being where they are, you know, and having established themselves um, up until this point, I mean, being the 97 ranked uh, crypto, I mean, I think anything in the top 100, um, there can be a, a case made for them for the most of them, um, you know, making a few exclusions. But uh, overall, I mean, as the we see, uh, you know, the smartphones and all these different things, uh, you know, getting out there. You know, basically being that infrastructure uh, laid down, you know, in a really important way. Um, I think right now it will be pretty important to uh, basically go over a lot of uh, the different things people have been talking about regarding Electronium. And it, I think that when it comes to mobile mining, there's a lot of things that oftentimes get overlooked, which are probably going to be key variables in the future of cryptocurrency as we see a lot of these things uh, really fleshing out um, and they, for more better or for worse um, I mean mobile mining is pretty much a shoe in I mean we're looking at um, you know Android and all these different things uh, certainly stuff that we'll get into and I think um, you now where we are currently on the roadmap is uh, also says a lot about how far cryptocurrency in and of itself has come with a lot of these different things really getting up and running uh, right in front of our eyes which is pretty awesome when you pay attention to uh, you know electronium and you know where we can expect uh, <clears throat> you know a lot of these different things to go you know moving forward uh, so you know we, we got these uh, you know ripples blockchain will solve uh, issues related to uh, you know nesting transactions and um, you know it says uh, top uh, you know bank official of course uh, you know this is a pretty interesting piece of information uh, you know we're increasingly moving towards uh, you know white collar digital spheres uh, and uh, of course that is why it is important for us to work with ripple we hope that your technology will help us get closer to small guys and solve the problems plaguing the uh, you know, remittance industry. So, you know, right off the bat, I think this article does say a lot about uh, you know, where we can expect uh, cryptocurrency to go. Now, I know a lot of you are going to be like, uh, oh, why are you mentioning uh, Ripple in a cryptocurrency video? Well, uh, for a number of reasons, I think w looking at just what Ripple has done in terms of being able to work with the establishment and essentially uh, you know, getting cryptocurrency usage um, in, in a lot of ways that we pretty much couldn't have expected. Uh, you now we got XRP takes uh, another step into uh, mainstream adoption as Skype uh, hits a possible integration. Um, and I think that uh, that's sort of funny to see uh, you know, Ripple and uh, you know, Skype with uh, you know that kind of news, uh, especially in the context of uh, talking about Electronium and you know what we can expect to see from the projects like these you know, moving forward, really integrating with the system that's uh, you know already in place to a large extent. Being said, if you guys are interested in connecting with us on Twitter, um, you, know, you could do so. It's at CryptoTuber on Twitter. Always interested in hearing your feedback. 
But yeah, I mean, I think this has been a pretty good video. Um, now, overall, I'm excited that we've been having this opportunity to talk about Electronium and the community is pretty strong. I mean, I think only time will tell um, where crypto goes from here. But for now, I mean, I'm very interested in Electronium and obviously this video is just my opinion, you know, for entertainment, educational purposes only. I'm not your dad. But uh, all that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure that you let us know your opinion in the comments down below. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, have a good one.